So take one last look at the photo. It's supposed to be this photo of a passive protester, a martyr, being attacked by one of Bull Connor's dogs. But is it really? First of all, we know who the boy is. The boy is a guy named Walter Gadsden. He's 15 years old. He was not a protester. He was a bystander. He just came down to see what was happening. He wasn't even in favor of what King was doing in Birmingham. He comes from a prominent, southern, wealthy black family that owned a lot of newspapers. And they were on the conservative side of, this, of, the, of the black community. And they were deeply skeptical of what King was doing in his confrontation with Bull Connor. Right? Secondly, is he passive? No, he's not passive. He's the furthest thing from passive. First of all, I mean, passivity was how people read that photo, right? They said the saintly calm on his face was why the AP News uh, uh, editor chose this particular photo. But he doesn't have a saintly calm on his face. Look at his arm. His arm is grabbing the police officer, right? No one trained in nonviolent resistance, no one who was truly uh, gripped by saintly calm, would fasten their hand on the police officer in that way. You're not supposed to touch the police officer, right? And is he leaning forward passively into the dog to let himself be bit? No. Look at his knee. He's got his knee up in the dog's chest. As he told people later, he grew up around dogs. He grew up around in, in, in vicious dogs. He knew that if you confronted a dog like this, that the way that you beat the dog back was you lean into the dog and you kicked him in the chest and the throat, right? He's kicking the dog. Now look at the uh, officer. His face is clenched and he's wearing those dark, dark glasses, which makes him look like, the in, the, like evil incarnate. But look at his leash. The leash is taut. He's not permitting the dog to lunge and bite Walter Gadsden. He's trying to pull the dog back, right? He's trying to prevent him from biting Walter Gadsden. This photo is not what it seems. It's something entirely different. It's the opposite, in fact, of what it seems. It's not reality. It's theater. And it's amazing theater. And when the world is turned against you, when your opponents have, are racist, and when, you're, when the public has abandoned you, and when your prospects couldn't seem more, more dim, a little bit of theater like this goes a long way. Thank you.